the Honolulu Biennial now underway, bringing together artists from around the world. Kamakapili spoke to one of the artists to learn more about his inspiration. If you've been around Honolulu the past few weeks, you've seen the Honolulu Biennial making its presence known with 47 different artists from across the Pacific at different locations across town to show you art and the, the inspiration of art and storytelling and everything that falls underneath that. And we bring our attention to one of those artists who created the big display behind us and that's Dr. Taupori Tanvaro. Thank you very much for having us. You created some beautiful pieces and I think first and foremost, a lot of people when they see stuff like this or attire for hula and ceremonies, they think of it as a costume. To you, what, are, what, what is this? Okay, um, these are ceremonial wear. Um, they're made with aha and of course I, I played around with cotton but they derive from one artifact that served as an inspiration. It's about that tall at the Bishop Museum till today, and it's dancing artifact, and it's wearing a corded skirt. And from that one inspiration I saw 39 years ago, um, this was born. Now, over the 39 years, I mean, what, what things have you come across, what experiences have you come across okay. to do this and hopefully people see? Yes, well, I, I'm in the University of Hawaii system and we're now committed strategically to what we call Hawaii Papo Keau, the indigenizing of the university system. And this work, 39 years ago, I would have not known how it would align with what I do today, but I actually have, I built curriculum and experiences based on the cord work of Hawaii as a way of helping people identify with what it means to descend from one long umbilical cord and how that cord does not disconnect us from other indigenous, but actually connects us. So this, from that one artifact, has grown a whole new consideration and, and, and fed a lot of experiences. Now, you talk about a lot of experiences. You, you've spent a lot of time dancing hula yeah. in these. If, if it's not people watching you dance and, and seeing you wear this or seeing your haumana wear this or coming in here to this exhibit, mm -hmm. what do you hope that people walk away with? Well, one, I want them to say, wow, what is this? <laughs> That's what most we people say. <laughs> what is this? Um, it's uh, it's kokopo pu. Um, it's a particular kind of knot that was used in in, in our older Hawaii as a, it was carrying nets, and um, and I just put them together. And um, when we wear them in ceremonies, it makes I want people to realize that you know we don't always have to just wear a kihei and a malo that we have all these other kinds of wearables that we can wear and part of it is we need to recover them and bring it into a 21st century kind of indigenous life way. Taking old and finding a, finding a new contemporary right. space to mm -hmm. hold it. Awesome. Thank you very much for that. Now, for you know, this is part of Hon Honolulu Biennial. How long is this lasting till? Until May 5th. Until May 5th. For more information, you can check out honolulubiennial.org. Reporting here at The Hub, which is right behind Piggy Smalls for those who don't know, Kamaka Pili, back to you guys in the studio. That's Thank you, awesome. Kamaka. I really do want to check out the biennial. Such great artists. Absolutely. Yeah.